how to start working on our mind. Buddhism encourages us to work on our minds, but this can be a challenging task. If our minds are cluttered, how can we overcome this obstacle? I don't know if there is just one way uh, to start working uh, on our mind. Uh, I think we can work, we can start with anywhere. But basically, you know, we talk about uh, three things, you know, like view, meditation, action. Uh, you know, in these three, our training uh, is all included, I think. Uh, so, the important is the view. View means how we see things, you know, how we see things, how we understand uh, what is good, what is not good, what is wholesome, what is not wholesome, what is right, what is not right, you know, uh, how I how I value things, how I, you know, uh, understand, and you know, uh, this is the this is the most fundamental, important thing. So you know, to uh, to try to understand uh, what is a wholesome action, you know, a good action of your body, your speech your mind, and what is an unwholesome action of your body, of your speech, of your mind, you know, and how things are, little bit starting to understand this uh, is, I think, a very good starting point, you know, because everything starts with an understanding, you know. Uh, so if I if 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 I understand that uh, doing this kind of actions with my body, with my speech, with my mind is uh, not good, is is harmful, and um, uh, brings uh, not good results for myself and for others also, now and in the long run also, uh, then, you know, we need to know why, why this action is not a wholesome action. Then, you know, s somehow, you know, we will be more uh, cautious or we will be more careful uh, to do those things. Uh, and if we know clearly that if I do this action my, with my body or with my speech or with my mind or with my emotion, you know, and reaction, then if I know clearly that this is going to be beneficial, useful, good for me and for others, for me now and for me in the long run, same with the others. Then, sooner or later, or in, a, in whatever degree, I will start to do that more. So this, the view, is the most important thing. I think we can start with that. When we start with that view, then, you know, the, ex the, the, the action comes, you know. Uh, action means the conduct, how we so we can be a little bit mindful, you know, a little bit see what I am doing, what I am doing with my body, what I am doing with my speech, what I am doing with my mind, and then a little bit aware and you know, uh, not completely, completely kind of strict, but a little bit aware, and so therefore we can be little conscious, we can be a little aware, we can be a little mindful, and so therefore 
we can control a little bit. That's also very good training. Training because everything is mind. Because you know, if your mind doesn't think this, I should do, then it wouldn't do. So the actions are also training of the mind. And if we don't train the mind, you cannot control the action. And then meditation, you know, in order to do that, in order to become mind, you know, be, be aware, you know, we know that you know, uh, we can't be distracted all the time. So therefore, try to be a little bit uh, mindful, you know, means like you, you check what's going on in your mind a little bit again and again. I think we s should start like that. Of course, there could be other different ways you know, and just that would be suitable for different people. 